Salmon flies, AKA trout flies. This is a cool one. It's called a C-17 salmon fly, named after the giant airplane that's clumsy in the air, plops down, and delivers all the goods. Dude, that's a big brown yeah. All right, some of you know I'm a huge nerd and I'm into RC aviation, so sorry for the airplane names for flies, but I had to bring it in somewhere. C-17 is an awesome airplane. So this is a giant flying bird that we're going to tie it for you. So we're just going to call it C-17. Anyway, I'm going to get started with this Viva 70 denier thread. This is a really cool thread. It's super strong. Uh, this is a 5263 TM Co in size 2. So this is a big, big giant fly. So a lot of foam going into this one. The first tie-in, not a big deal. We're going to throw some tails in. So just come up here a little ways and I'm going to run my, my, my tail right along the opposite side of the hook shank. And then I'm just going to pull this one over and I'll put it right next to it. Cover those up. And we ought to have some pretty nice little tails coming off of there. All right. So I'll grab those. Don't stretch them when you cut them and boom, we're in, we got legs. All right. So, now there's going to be an underbody and overbody on this one. For the underbody, I stole some 3 mil foam and I've cut it about, I don't know, half to three quarters the, the width of the hook gap. And I'm just going to take this and tie it in right here, but it's going to be underneath the hook shank. Bear with me. I'm going to have to be all fingers. But essentially, I'm going to wrap my thread around, and when it's right here, I'm going to put tension on. Wrap it around, put tension when you're pulling away from yourself, and that will cinch that onto the hook. All right. So, when I have that done, I'm just going to move forward, and I'll show you a little bit better on this one. So, if I have tension on my hook and I just wrap around it, it's going to want to push that foam out of the way. Okay? So, I'm going to hold the foam in place, come up under it with really, really loose tension, I've closed my tension and now when I pull away from myself, you can see that the foam cinches up right where it's supposed to be. And now I'm going to add, you know, a few turns of orange to give it a little bit of a highlight. Um, salmon flies have orange on them, but not as much as some fly patterns show. So don't over orange your life. All right. Like Brigham does. Sorry, that's a bad spray tan joke. Have him tell you the spray tan story when you come in the shop sometime. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Anyway. A spray tan? Brigham. Bear he, spray. No, no, no. You, there's a spray tan story too. <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, if you look underneath, you pull the, the foam. Brigham, I'm trying to film here, okay? I know you're. I know it's embarrassing, but as you can see on the very back, that little nub just kind of tapers down. It looks like it's part of the show as well. So I'll just rinse, repeat all the way up here, and we'll make a nice segmented underbody. The other thing about salmon flies is they're they're very long critters. They they have a a pretty long abdomen. So don't shortchange them. So I'm going to go about like this. And then the rest will be thorax and head up here. So here we have a really cool underbody. We're going to nuke that foam out of there. And we'll cover up the butt ends. And we are in. Okay. This salmon fly has kind of a unique body. It's kind of a, a two-phase body. And the top of the body, we're just going to tie it in the front, okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of foam and fold it over and make it look like it's like a two-tone body. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of foam and it looks like this, all right? But I can already tell that when I pre-cut this, it's too long, okay? So as I, as I fold it over, it kind of folds down too much. So when I wrap that around... It could cover up too much of the bottom of the fly. So I'm going to go back to the drawing board and trim this up. Since I have it tapered, I'm going to have to cut a strip off of both sides to keep this taper. Or you could just cut another taper. All right. 
So there I have it. You can see not the greatest job trimming that foam, but that's all right because I'm going to take a lighter to it and we'll we'll pretty it up a little bit, just a little tiny bit. So there we have a pretty pretty nice piece. For this next part, I'm taking the the hook out of the jaw. I have another bobbin threaded up with roughly the same thread. And I'm going to take this piece and fold it in half just like that. Then I'm, I'll just hold this right here so you can see, but I'm, I'm going to essentially take a wrap a thread and wrap it around this, okay? So in order to do that, you can't just start wrapping because it's hard, it's awkward. So I just grab the thread with my other fingers and essentially I'm going to wrap four or five turns. As you can see, I've grabbed that pretty well. No whip finish necessary. I'm just going to now take a little dab of super glue, put that down in there, squeeze it all around, and then I'll get that thread out of there. All right, so I have little tags there. I can come in and trim those up. All right, so essentially, now I have something that looks like that. So how does that play into the fly? I'll show what it looks like when we, when we put it on there. So now, I'm going to want this to be about like this. I want it to overhang the hook about maybe that far. Make a little adjustment. About like that. So I'll come in here and trim that. I like to pre-trim it because if you, if you, have, if you do, you'll have a little tab here that kind of helps you line up where you tie the head in as well. So I'll just come in here. Tie that in just like that so you can see I have a nice little ridge tie-in section. Now I want to keep this wing kind of elevated up off this foam a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'll fold this back. I'm going to coat the whole top and just a little bit of the sides with super glue. Z-Mint's my favorite flavor. So as you can see just a little bit of the sides. We'll fold this over now and I'm just going to pinch this against the body. And this, this type of foam does take a little bit to, to cure. It doesn't set up instantly like, like normal tying foam. And I'm just going to add a little bit more. Here we have the body tied in. So you can see we've got an extended body style fly without a lot of bulk. So now we're going to tie in the head pieces for this. Um, so what I've done is I've taken a black piece and a, and a brown piece, and they're pretty much right on the money, um, equal to the length or the dis or the, the the gap. Jeez, can't talk. All right. So to tie these in, I'm going to take my thread all the way to the eye, and let's see. I want the brown one on top. So I can just push this piece of foam all the way against where, where, where it uh, connects in here. And I'm just going to pinch this in place and then wrap it. And then as I move my fingers back, I'm not going to take them off of there. I'm just going to cover up those butt ends. And that makes a really nice compact tie-in point. This also aids in making sure the head doesn't spin around the hook when you're fishing. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom. And again, it's really important that your thread's right up here by the eye. If, if not, you might not wrap it all the way forward, and it kind of looks goofy at that point. No offense, Brigham. Your flies are good, too. Everybody starts somewhere. All right, I'll do the same thing on the bottom. That could almost be the body. Look how clean that is, Brig. All right, cover that up. Brig's giving me a very sarcastic slow clap. Rude. All right, so here we have it. Our, our, our head is tied in, um, but we're not quite ready to pull that over yet. Let's build in some floatiness. And I'm just going to get rid of some of this foam because it's just annoying when it's that long. We're ready to tie in the wing here. And I just have two strands of brown ultra dry yarn from Fulling Mill, two strands of gray. And I'll tie those in like this. I'll come back in that little foam notch and I'll lock it down right there. And now 
on the on the salmon flies I want it kind of a notched like a tiered wing because it's not just super big and thick all the way back I want it to maybe taper down so if I trim this one long I'll pull this one over I'm gonna trim that one about half as long as the other one and then I put in an indicator section as well just out of pink Tie that one in, let's see, just like that. Same way we did the others, and I'll leave that one about as the same length as the previous one. All right, tie those in tight, because this may or may not be the second time I've had to do this, because I pulled them all out with the comb, okay? So, come in here, comb it out, and it should kind of turn into this nicely shaped wing that's going to look real nice sitting on the water. So as you can see it's it's pretty bulky up by the head and then it tapers back and the gray and, and brown just kind of model in together. It looks super super cool. Once we get the head tied down it, it, it will lay back nice but anyway that's a really kind of you know buoyant wing that's going to hold a whole bunch of floatant. Uh, looks like I've got to get some pink over on this side too. Now for the head. Um, salmon flies have pretty flat heads and I'll show you a way to do that with foam. So here because we have that tied in so nice and clean we're just gonna throw down some super glue and I'm just gonna pull it a little bit as I as I tie it in. Easier said than done but a little tension on this bottom section and that will narrow that head down just a little bit. It's a little bit of a difference but I like it. So then we'll just pull this top section over. We'll do the same thing. Okay. Now, to get a nice flat head, I'm just going to squish this flat. Okay. So there we have a, a, a pretty nice flat profile on the head. Now I can come in here. Let's see. I want to trim this off pretty, pretty straight across. It's hard to tell when you're filming. And then this one I'm going to cut pretty close to the thread, but not crazy close. About like that. Alright, so there's our head. Um, for the legs on this, I like to kind of go extra as well. I'm going to take the same span flex we used for, um, for the tails. I'm going to tie in some of those. But I only want this one to stay long on the back portion of it. Okay, so I'm going to take this now and I'm just going to cut that off of there, but leave a little tag. Okay, so I'll cut him off like that and then I'm going to come in here with a barred centipede leg. Sometimes this color is called orange, sometimes it's called copper, sometimes it's called pink. Just farm out the one that looks like the flies you want to tie, tie it in there. You don't even have to tie the orange one in here if you want a different color. So salmon flies have you know some long legs, some short legs, so we're just gonna tie two long ones in the back and then four short ones in the front, call it good. You can tie these in so many different color combos. You know, obviously you can tie them in the bright oranges and things like that. Sometimes on the south fork up in Idaho, uh, the South Fork of the Snake, uh, they like a little brighter orange. As you can see, this is a pretty flat pattern, and sometimes I like an indicator that's that's vertical. So I'm gonna just throw on. Let's see, this is like sunburst orange. That ought to make a good indicator. Okay, so I cut a piece of foam that's a little thicker than I normally would use because I am gonna taper this down, and I probably will even singe it. So that's what it looks like right now. If I singe it and press it with my fingers, it turns into something more like that. And then I can come in here and make any additional tweaks if I need to. All right, so there we go. We're gonna tie that in just about like this. Cut off the excess. And on this one, I'll just throw a quick hand whip finish in it. 
whatever type of head cement you like. Imagine that I'm putting it on right now. Z-Mint. That's my whip finish. Okay, that goes over the top of it. All right, so there you have it. There's the C-17 Salmon Fly. Time in different colors, sizes, all that, all the above. But this sucker's going to float and it's going to poke a lot of fish.